<clears throat> so, Tears of the Kingdom is a very fun game. I love the different powers, weapons, the story, the characters, and I also love the series I did playing the game, especially the end. No! Dang it! I also think Pokemon is a very fun game. I love Pokemon Scarlet. I love the new Pokemon in it, the stories and the characters out, and just like with Tears of the Kingdom, I love the series I did playing that as well, especially the end. The glitching? And so, because of this, I decided to take these two games that I love and combine them. Kinda. You see, there's a type of self-imposed challenge run people add to Pokemon games to make it more difficult. Called a Pokemon Nuzlocke. If you know Pokemon, you likely already know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who aren't as familiar with it, in a Nuzlocke, you can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in each route. If a Pokemon faints, it's either dead or at least unusable anymore, and you have to either box it or release it. And you also have to nickname all your Pokemon for emotional attachments to set up for maximum anguish when they eventually kick the bucket. Yada yada yada, throw yourself in your ragtag team at the next box, sometimes with strategy, sometimes without, and make sure you don't die, good luck! But with that in mind, I wondered what would happen if you took those rules and applied them to Tears of the Kingdom in whatever ways you possibly could. So here's what I came up with. Rule 1. You can only use one of any type of melee weapon, bow, or shield. Rule 2. If any of your equipment breaks, you can't use the equipment again. Rule 3. If Link dies, you have to restart the whole game. No exceptions. Three relatively simple rules that should be pretty easy to follow. But I should point out a couple things first. If I pick up a fused weapon, I can only use it if the base weapon is one I haven't used before. Doesn't matter what the part fused to it actually is. And uh, the Zonai Gumball Machines aren't necessarily banned or against the rules. I mainly just forgot to use them at all. But now that everything's been explained, I see no reason not to start the video. Other than asking you to subscribe. Please, I would really appreciate it. And if you want me to try doing anything else like this, I'd also appreciate that if you let me know. Alright, I'll start the video now. Enjoy. Can I, like, skip this? <clears throat> or, like... Yeah, I know. I've seen this intro. Oh, I can. Does this count as me already having the Master Sword? Ah, I don't think so. We get it. People have been falling. Zelda, you're about to be falling in general. <gasps> Zelda, do you ever shut up? I, it's been 20 steps. What is that? Can you not skip this scene? I'm clicking every button available to me, but it's not letting me skip it. You know how I can skip it in the video though? Just like that. Raru placed his faith in you. Knowing all the mysteries and now, this do. is pretty cool. See what I mean? Falling. Sucks, doesn't it? See ya, sucker. Mine now. It has a different name, and power, and description, which means, by all accounts, this is not the regular Master Sword. I mean, that makes sense, obviously, but, you know, just in case there was someone who thought otherwise. Don't know why you would. Luckily, on the Great Sky Island, there isn't really anything that could, like, kill Link, as long as you're not, like an idiot can do I have to jump off of here can I just like I can but he just instantly falls like normal
Hi, Zelda! Hey, don't be an idiot and die stupidly in, like, the first... Like, three seconds of the actual run. I'm looking around like there's gonna be any other weapons to find other than tree branches, but I mean the only thing I'm gonna find is, is like a wooden stick. And like that's not gonna be much of much use. You know, ever since re-watching that video, I've never been able to unsee him as the guy I called a giraffe. And weirdly enough, it's only this construct that I see like that. I never realized how honestly kind of menacing the shape of the temple is like if you saw that and didn't know what it was you'd probably be scared of it don't tell me you wouldn't that's just you knowing what it is in this game what if you just saw that imagine if you woke up okay let's say you woke up and all of a sudden that was just in front of your house you would be scared don't try to deny it Okay. That's the first time I've ever seen one of those rocks despawn. Ah! Oh, how do I kill you? You have a different sword. You're definitely another one I'm coming back to once I get Ultra Hand. I can't just keep exchanging weapons. Especially because I think that weapon is weaker anyway. Ah! Rawr, do you understand how long it took me to get here? Including the intro, which, again, took about 11 minutes, and just getting to this place? I could have watched an entire episode of One Piece. I'm disgusted by you. Oh, Ultra Hand. Never mind. I take back everything bad I've said about you. The ability to create... <laughs> I... How did I mess that up? Do you have a bow? I think this guy's got a bow. Uh... Crap. Oh, that did half? There we go. The first bow. shot at me oh my god there's so many thank you for attempting to murder me sir it was very useful what was that? oh you have a thick you have a thick weapon how can i get how can i like the pots no 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 no, no. Stop, stop 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 get away from me actually no follow me Stop! Why did you duck Link? Swing at me. No! The pot. Crap. I will do it! I missed! There we go! I mean there was one right here the whole time why do I even do these things I swear it took me like an hour and a half to get here my first time I played this how did I manage to do that so slow hi I'm back so I'm just gonna skim over a couple things that happened for the rest of the Sky Island because if I didn't, this segment would be like 40 minutes long and I'm sure nobody wants that. But anyway, after losing a weapon to a group of deformed bats in a cave and finding not even a whole shirt, I witnessed a bright bloom seed use instant transmission and help a small woodland creature made of actual wood whilst questioning its odd smoke signal. How is that fire coming out as green? Even if you, regardless of what time of day you look at it, this smoke is green. Korok. How? Ignoring the part where I jumped off of a minecart midair like an idiot. Oh, come on! I found a cave that I was not too fond of. 
So I instead opted to climb a wall. Uh, no, I'm not going in here. This is where the like likes are. And I dislike them. Bet you thought I was gonna say I dislike like them, you unfunny piece of sh- All before realizing that was the wrong cave, and I had done all that for nothing. Bottomless cave? Oh no, this is where the like-likes are. But in the end, I finally made it to the Ascend Shrine, and convinced the Construct to cut some ropes in my stead. You can. Thank you! Oh, this is a game about creativity. Finally, all that was left was to make it back to the Temple of Time, watch the Zelda cutscene, finally obtain fast travel, and complete the Great Sky Island. I wonder, can I just go up here? Uh, no! Uh-oh. Okay, so remember when I said that I shouldn't die like an idiot? So I may have died like an idiot. No! No! Why did I try that? Ah! And I was so close to the end of the Great Sky Island too. Well, with nothing better to do, I followed the rules that I had outlined for myself and restarted the game. Well, this sucks. So, yeah, I redid everything. But I'm gonna skip over all that, just because I, I didn't really say anything the whole time, for I was quite peeved. Well, I mean, there are a couple fun clips that ha did happen while redoing this. <gasps> no! I almost ended this and I almost ended this game again. No. Really? Now I get up here. Oh well that's just swell. See so you I see you were doing a... I see you tried something new, goddess. You know. Uh loving the new look. You know, he really took uh, the rock statue thing and just pushed it to a thousand. See? Like I said, it was only a couple. But, anyway, now that that's all done and dealt with, finally, we make it to the surface. That took way longer than necessary. You know, I got what I wanted from you. Bye! Oh, wait, hit my shield. Ha <laughs> ha! Idiot. I actually did want the arrows. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? I decided to have a stupid idea and think, hey, I should make Tears of the Kingdom a Nuzlocke, and um, here we are. So, after my meeting with Pura, and explaining my idiotic idea, that I still don't know why I did fully, I then descended to the lowest reaches of Hyrule Castle, while looking for the Soldier's Armor, one of the best ones defensively when fully upgraded. And on the way, I found, suffice to say, a lot of pretty good stuff. That's a disembodied eyeball, what the fuck? But, in the end, I discovered, uh, <laughs> that this was the wrong cave, and I'd been doing all this for nothing all along. <laughs> Can't believe I've been on a futile journey this whole time. It's not even over here. Pure, what do you mean his stories are wild? This is Link, the guy who you put in a magic bathtub for a hundred years. These kind of stories are normal for him. I always love this scene, him opening the shelter. 
Do they genuinely hear that through the, that, like, multiple layers of stone? Like, look at how thick that area of stone is. They hear that tiny little, like, tapping from a spear and him mildly raising his voice. And they're like, ah, we got it. And, they, and it immediately opens. And so with that, we can now finally move on to our next goal. All right, Elden. There he is, Daruk, in all of his textured glory. Why are the why are the textures so large? I need either more stamina or Tulin. I well, know a way of getting more stamina. You know what? This is at the expense of one of my materials. I'm aware. This is at the expense of wasting one of my materials, but this is also at the expense of looking cool as hell. Please. Please make it. Oh, oh I'm awesome. What? I didn't see that happening. It scared the hell out of me. What could you want? What I want is to finish this freaking challenge. All right, power of fire. It's a free attack that I can use at any time. Almost any time. How did you just get here? With legs the width of about like. Two pencils stuck together. How did you manage to jump up here? Am I the only one who sees the walls moving? Or is that just like a heat haze thing? Nope. Oh my god. Could you chill, buddy? What? All right. Fire temple. Uh oh, she's awakening the power of the elephant. I have an idea. I shoot him in the face, and then I stab him. Okay. Well, that was short-lived. Here I go! Anyway, you know, Bo? Kill him. Charge. Where did he go? Alright then, you know, Bo. Huh? I know! Stop stopping me every couple seconds! Jeez, now hit the gong! How could you miss? How could you miss? It was five feet in front of you! I love when the little ears or whatever go up. Padlock, I know! Shut up! Oh, it's just lava. Okay. And not that bad. It's just lava. You know, I deal with that like every Tuesday. Let's boogie! Oh, I made it! I had zero faith. Who's there? Don't kill me. What is that? There's just a giant bowl of lava? That is awesome! Why was I not informed of this? Oh. Could you not do that? Meanwhile, you! <laughs> Get crushed by your own car, idiot! Ow! I should heal! Oh my god! See, normally after getting crushed with your own automobile, you don't immediately shoot someone in the chest. You know, I, I don't know how robots work. 
Okay, you know, but where are you? Don't you walk away! I need you! What? Why didn't it... Why didn't it go the first time? What? Alright. Time to kill an elephant. I bet a single key sideball will finish you off. Yes! Die, you stupid elephant rock! Now burn. So after my triumphant battle against my ancient adversary and the dawning of the new fire stage that is Unobo, I can finally move on to my next goal, the Yiga armor. Which I quickly realized after actually acquiring it that getting the Earth Waker technique, which is the whole reason I got the armor in the first place, would be impossible considering the fact that you need to traverse the desert, which you can't get through with the sand shroud covering everything, and you can't remove that without finishing the Gerudo quest, and no way am I doing that. So this entire excursion was pointless, I guess. But you know what else is pointless? Grinding shrines for six hours, apparently. Oh, and might I add that it only added a minuscule four hearts! But hey, at least I finally got that soldier's armor. There we go! But now, after thinking about how I'll never be able to get those six hours of my life back, I came to a decision on what to do. Instead of going directly to Ganondorf as I had planned, I decided to go ahead and complete the Rito quest involving the Wind Temple and the Big Bad Tooth Whitener. Now there are a couple reasons I did this. One, this would make the boss rush at the end just a bit easier and quicker, because defeating the Frosty Centipedes of the Sky Colgate here will move him from the final battle. Two, Tulin's power of wind, as mentioned earlier, just makes traversing the air much easier and is honestly just a quality of life thing. And three, Tulin, unlike somebody, is actually reliable when it comes to attacking. And honestly, I just think he's really cool and he's probably my favorite out of all the sages, so we're adding him to the team. That's not fair at all! You know I can handle it! The village... Sup, buddy? Wait for it. Huh? Is that you? I love the little head tilt. Oh, of course, now a rock falls. After I just spent the past 10 minutes doing this. No, I'm committing. I am halfway committing. Where's Tulin? I... Oh! Found him. <laughs> Idiot. Oh wait, that's a new bow. No, it's gone! Alright, so we're going up there. Let's go, my favorite ally! Tulin, I've missed your wind of your wind power. Oh, I missed the dart trick sound you made. I love Tulin sitting here like Dang! Really, really taking your time, huh, Link? I can be up there right now if I wanted. But you're the one who's slowing us down. It's all your fault. If we don't save Zelda, it's all because of you. I don't need no balloon! All I need is good old dynamite. How are the ships even moving, by the way? Cause like, no one's piloting them. Like the little like oars, those aren't moving. It's like, how are they functioning? Oh, it's time for the big bounce. Let's go. We've made it.
We made it. That's a cool flash. And then it just unveils. And here we go! The Wind Temple, baby! The legendary Stormwind Arc. I forgot that there are guns here. Brave fledgling. No, you know he's not a fledgling. He's a he's a Dartrix. We we've established this. I do not regret my joke in the slightest. I didn't even start recording yet, jerk. Hold up. Hold up. Is it just me or does the back of this, the Stormwind art, kind of look like the Temple of Time? I'm not going crazy, right? Oh, shut up, Tulin. Tulin? I know! Let me, let me blow the air! Oh, now I have to wait for him to- ah! Nope, back up. Die. Oh. Thanks, Tulin! <laughs> hey! Beat him up! Yeah! Oh, yeah. Hey, buddy. No, 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 no! Ow! Get lasered! Sorry. F people falling rope people falling to their death shouldn't be funny. I why did I struggle so much with saying that? You think your silly ice will stop me? I, it, their silly ice almost stopped me! Oh my god! <laughs> Greetings, Mr. Cannon. Please don't shoot me. Well, please don't tell me you're gonna activate too. Well, you're clearly following me, so I don't know why you're acting like you can't shoot me. Oh, I see. Now you're acting like you can shoot me. No, you know about. Where did Tulin go? I had to wait for him to rejoin. You know about. And it's time. We prepare ourselves to defeat the toothpaste demon once again. I agree, buddy. I agree. Here we go. There we go. That's what we like to see. One. I think I can break this one. Why did I do this? <laughs> Tulin, I'm in the middle of something. What do you think I'm trying to do, idiot? Shoot, shoot your, sh shoot your, sh your, your. I did it. You're not getting hit by that? The hell? I got an ice piece. I gotta find another wing. Electric. This is where you die. Oh my god! Why did it start approaching me? Yes, die. Burn in the power of jam. Be gone, foul toothpaste demon. You and your waft. Hey, and look. Do very normal, sur like, surgical procedures. Uh, we've removed its heart from its body. Now I will consume it and gain its power. So, yeah. Tulin's a sage now. We've questioned the climate change of the Hebrew region. 
Here's the thing. Uh, here's the here's the thing. I don't understand how this is supposed to work. Cause Hebrew's cold to begin with. Sure it isn't blizzard it isn't a blizzard all the time, but it should not melt everything and then literally well I mean I don't I'm not a climate scientist. As well as the inner workings of the Skyview Towers. Alright, so pay attention. You see how Link has the you know the whole like roll thing on like his uh waist right now? So that the information can be sent down to the tower, then sent back up to his pure pad. Note that because like in a second. Look, what he just, he just lets it drop? How does it make it safely back down? Has anyone ever asked this? How, do, how does it make it safely back down to the surface? And now I have one last goal to complete before fighting Ganondorf. Well, now time to get every shrine between, <coughs> in basically like this area. Just go all around and get every single shrine possible. Because we need to be prepared for the, the the big man downstairs. He's in the depths. Woohoo! Although, there is a problem. The only real plans I had for this video were to get the Unobo and Yiga clan attack so I can do damage without any weapons, collect a ton of actual weapons to save for the final fight, to create a bunch of food for that fight as well, and to level up my game enough to get much better materials for my weapons. Unobo's uselessness has already been established, and while I did realize that getting the Earthquaker technique would be impossible, I didn't mention that the actual technique isn't really that great either. And on the weapon side of things, I have been slowly running out of weapons for a while, only really using them on bosses or required fights, which is probably the main reason my game hasn't been leveling up. And that's stopping me from getting better weapons, and materials to make said weapons stronger. By the time I'd realized this, everything had already started going downhill, and I knew that I needed to fix this, otherwise this would all be for nothing. So, to actually fix some of those problems, I decided to go hunt some Lynels. This way I could level up my game, as well as get some good materials. I'm fine, I'm okay, everything's chill. Mild panic attack, but we're fine. Excuse me? What the hell was that? Up, huh? Huh? <laughs> no, no, buddy, no, I'm. Hold on, I need to process that. What just happened? This guy has a problem. He was just out here teleporting. Yeah, so that didn't go so well. So then I decided to upgrade my soldier's armor. Yeah, remember when I mentioned that at the beginning of the video? Yeah, it's finally happening. And to do this, I would need to awaken the great fairies. However, I still needed materials for the final battle. And at this point, I had given up on leveling up my game enough to get them. There was one solution though. In the depths of Hyrule there lies the Floating Colosseum, an arena that contains five different Lynels, and two of them are Silver Lynels. And their horns, the Silver Lynel Saber Horn, is the strongest fuse weapon in the game. And if I could get my hands on it, my problem with getting strong enough materials for my weapons would disappear. And so off I went to the Colosseum. Ow. I'm trying to go to the light route, not break my spine on it. That wasn't even the light route. What did I hit my face on then? Oh my god. I, I unfolded that the perfect time. If I didn't, I, that, I think I would have died just then. Or at least taking considerable damage because that would have hurt. Oh, come on. It's time for the Colosseum. Okay, then. Let's do this. I need a shield on. What am I doing? Alright, then. One down. One Lionel down. One Lionel down. Okay. 
Get on his back. Switch to this. Ow. There we go. Dead. Oh great, he's behind he's right behind me. Come on, do something interesting. Oh! Tulin! Yeah, there we go. Hello, Silver. Oh wait, I do have one eyeball. I gotta make this count. Oh, it looped around him! Ow! There we go! Welp! That's gone! Savage Lionel Shield. Oh, hell no, dude. You think I'm staying up here? See ya! Yeah, I left. I only needed one horn anyway. Then I could upgrade all my weapons. It's simple, really. Instead of wasting my time killing Lynels every time a Blood Moon rolled around, I just used my big old brain and instead did what any respectable person on this planet would do. Cheat. Look, I have never updated my version of Tears of the Kingdom. So I could just very easily get a ton of these. You know what? I have no regrets about it. But now that I have an armory of pristine weapons from the depths, because... Now here's the thing. With pristine weapons, you can see, they have different names. Like, I've already grabbed one of these, but they all have different... Like, there's question marks, so therefore, they're technically different weapons. I fused them with the Lionel Horns and prepared a large assortment of food. And now it's finally time for the final battle. And here we go. You have to fight all by yourself, you know. Tulin! Unibo! The those are the only two I got. No, 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 give me that. I, I haven't, I haven't gotten this. No, I can't carry more shields, I already have this. <gasps> Knight's bow, it's a new bow. All right, phase two. The lizards. With this. Now that I've done that, I can do this. Then you can just die. I said die. Is that it for the lizards? That's all the lizards. Oh great, these things. See, so here's what I do. Freeze! Freeze! There we go. Freaking hate those things. Just like the others. Oh, they were all grouped up too. Alright, dealt with them. I've never seen this happen, by the way. I've never fought a boss at the end. Muck the rock. Hello, Shiver from Splatoon. Good, I'm running out of watery stuff. Okay, I have an idea. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. There we go. That is what we like to see. Oh god. I hate this thing. Get down here. There we go. I'm in the cage match with it? 
I didn't know I would be in the cage match. Hey, buddy, so I, I know we're here to, like, kill each other. But I do this really funny thing in battle where I, where I make a fire. Think you can let me do that for a second? Ow. How do you hurt him? Oh, I see now. Oh, I see. Against the fence. Yes! Construct cage fight, baby! That's how we go! That's how- <sighs> Oh, come on. Come on. Ooh! That was so stressful. That's the only thing I can do is... Move forward. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival. Alright. Here we go. Crap. How about this? How about no? What's my strongest weapon? I've seen 89. Looks like that's it. Do that again. Do that again. Even better! Okay. Alright, he's gonna do the funny thing with this health bar. Where it. Whoop! Keeps going. I'm with you, Link. Thank you, Tulin. Oh my god! Hey buddy, hey buddy, hey buddy! Please don't do that! He blocked? Yes. Not that. Do do the other thing with the club. Yes, 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 yes! That's what we like to see. Crap. He he did the thing. He, you can't block. That's well, crap. Uh oh. Crap! I'm steadily losing hearts. That was just stupid on my part. Well, crap. Now I only have this. I'm just gonna dodge. When counterattack. There we go. Yes. Yes. Oh, my hands are shaking. Oh, God. Hi, Zelda! There it is. Boom, baby! Master Sword! Now then. Who ordered the grilled snake? <laughs> First memory, the last one. It'd be real nice if I had like tooling or something to help me. But no, did I make this joke last time? I don't remember. I'm a broken record. Hi, buddy. 
Oh, little Ganon, weren't you ever taught not to spit fireballs at people? Bye bye Zelda! Ow! What the hell? I've never seen that happen before. Ow, he sniped me mid-air! Honestly, I gotta give him props for that. It's kind of hard to do when you have no mind. You're literally just working off instinct. Anyway, time to destroy your evil, your like disgusting eyeball pimple. I think I only have one more disgusting board to, dis to like di disfigure. This really is just disfigure Gan in the boss fight. Not really. I don't know why I said that. Anyway, one, two, three. Only thing left now? Where is it? The Blood Moon. In full force. Versus a kid who had no idea what he was getting himself into. And that kid would be me, unfortunately, because this sucked. Half half of this challenge was just way more stress than it was worth. I am not doing this again. Maybe with Pokemon, but I can assure you, I'm never doing another Zelda Nuzlocke. Now then, it's time to destroy the Demon Dragon, destroy the Demon King, save the land of Hyrule. And finally get myself out of this cruel, cruel challenge. <sighs> Goodbye, Tears of the Kingdom, Nuzlocke. You will not be missed. Hey, Ganondorf. Did you ever play Smash Bros? He's like, I, I I met Raru once. Who the hell is this lady? Anyway, we spray the lemon laser. Oh, it's lemon lime now. I see. We use the power of Sprite to heal Zelda. None of my jokes make any sense, and that's okay. Oh, sorry, Zelda. I was admiring. I was admiring the scenery. I know I need to save you, but like, dang, you never really get to see this shot, huh? I would just like to say, all my plans fell through. I planned to go to the Zonite Forge Island and like get a bunch of like mighty Zonite gear, but I, that didn't work out. I plan on leveling up my game by killing all the Lynels around. That didn't work out. And then I, it, at, at some point, I spent 30 minutes looking for that Cobble Crusher, like. Oh, sup Zelda. Anyway, as I was saying, I spent like 30 minutes looking at that Cobble Crusher. There was just some point where this went from fun to like all my plans just fell apart. Oh yeah, I forgot, we need a saver. Uh... Anyway. Fine, I'll, I'll do it. <sighs> that, ladies and gentlemen, was the Tears of the Kingdom Nuzlocke. Alright, well that sucked. Bye!